Baijus, once a shining star in the EdTech universe, promising to revolutionize learning in India and beyond. But how did this billion-dollar startup find itself in a downward spiral? Let's break down the key factors that contributed to Baiju's downfall. Founded by Baiju Ravindran in 2011, the company quickly grew, riding the wave of India's digital transformation. By 2020, Baiju's was valued at over $10 billion, making it one of the most valuable edtech companies globally. But beneath this meteoric rise were cracks that eventually led to its downfall. First, there were growing concerns over Baiju's aggressive sales tactics. Parents and students complained about high-pressure sales pitches, misleading advertisements, and unaffordable subscription plans. They promised my child would excel, but all we got were mounting bills and stress. EdTech should enhance learning, not just entertain. Baiju's approach often missed the mark in delivering true educational value. Narrator. Next, the educational content itself came under scrutiny. Critics argued that Baiju's prioritized flashy animations over substantive learning, leaving students with gaps in their understanding. Internal turmoil also plagued the company. Reports of overworked employees, toxic work culture, and high turnover rates surfaced, painting a grim picture of the work environment. The pressure was immense. We were constantly pushed to meet unrealistic targets with little regard for our well-being. To add to the woes, the app itself faced technical issues with users reporting frequent bugs, crashes, and a poor user interface. It was frustrating. Every time I tried to use the app, something went wrong. Investors also began to lose faith as Baiju's financial health deteriorated. Despite raising billions, the company struggled with profitability and faced increasing debt. The numbers just didn't add up. Baiju's was burning through cash at an unsustainable rate. Baiju Ravindran tried to reassure stakeholders, but the damage was done. Trust had eroded, and the company's future looked uncertain. Baiju's story serves as a cautionary tale of how rapid growth, if not managed properly, can lead to a spectacular fall. Will Baiju's manage to turn things around, or is this the end of its journey? Only time will tell.